Hey, Eagle Run 2-3. Had a little idea. The other day we were playing around with this cheapest pocket knife from Walmart. This is a sub $5 pocket knife. And we sharpened it with the Lansky. And the results were a little inconsistent. It wasn't cutting paper very smoothly. And I have since used this just here at the workbench to cut some random stuff. So I have an idea. We have the Russian knife sharpener here. This is a Tech Studios profile, TS Proof. That's what they call it. Um, let's do a little head to head and see what that looks like. So this is not gonna be completely scientific. Uh, we're just gonna kinda do the best. This is not a science channel. Um, we're gonna use one pocket knife and based on my assumptions, I think the Tech Studios is gonna do a better job. So I'm gonna start with the Lansky. And maybe I'll find that to be incorrect, but we'll have to see. I'm gonna put this uh, back through the stones, get a great edge on it, because we have used it. I wanna keep this as fair as possible. Do the best job I can, nice edge on here. We'll do some paper tests, maybe cut some other things, and then we will put it on the TS Prof and see if there is any noticeable difference. All right, before we jump in here, Will you guys leave me a comment? Let me know what are you using to sharpen your knives? Um, do you have a Lansky? Are you interested in purchasing a Lansky? Uh, I have a Lansky video that has like 50,000 views. I imagine it's people jumping on YouTube trying to see what it's like if they're make, making a purchasing decision. Uh, does anyone have a Tech Studios profile or maybe a Wicked Edge? Uh, or maybe you're just using a, uh, a stone. Um, let me know how you sharpen your pocket knives. And uh, let's get this uh, set up here and get to work. I think we're just gonna do three. Nothing really wrong with this. I just wanna make sure we're doing our due diligence in the name of science. If you haven't used the Lansky before, you put these guide rods on, you just want them nice and flat on an even plane. It'll make sense here in a minute as to why. All right, so we have a, uh, let's see, this is the course. All right, so we have a 120 course, a 600 fine, and a 1000 ultra fine. system comes with some honing oil. We just use it because it comes with it. Normally I use Ballastol, but All right, so I'm gonna keep going through all the stones. Uh, skip you uh, down the road here a little bit. We'll be back in just a second. All right, so I have spent some extra time on this, especially with the last two stones, more than I would normally do. Just finishing up on the other side here. All right. We want to give the Lansky every chance to do its best job.
it looks really nice. It's as good or better than it was before when we did this test. That's not bad. I, if, if that were my pocket knife, I would be happy with it. That's uh, about the same level we had before. So, uh, you know what? I have some, some cheap paracord here. This is some cheap paracord from, from Walmart. Let's see. I mean, that's pretty good. Again, if this was my pocket knife, I would be quite happy with that. All right. All right, this is the Tech Studios profile. If you don't know about this knife sharpener, I first saw it several years ago on the Wrangler Star channel, which is a pretty cool channel if you're not subscribed, go check them out. And they sent him one, I think uh, unsolicited, and so he, he got it set up and uh, started using it. And the funny thing is, is that I was kind of in the market for a new knife sharpener. I had the Lansky and normally I've just been using whetstones, and I was kind of thinking about something different. And so when I came to, before the, before the video was even over, I jumped over on their website and I ordered one. And back then it was taking months for them to be made. Uh, they're all machined and, and kind of handmade back then. Uh, I think they probably still are now, but they're definitely, were not a big company then. And I still don't think they're a very big company, but they uh, are definitely making knife sharpeners at a much faster rate than they were back then. It took a long time for it to come in. Uh, but I did an unboxing on it. If you haven't seen that, uh, you might want to check it out. I might see if I can leave a link to it. But it is a really cool toy. Uh, it's definitely not necessary. You can sharpen a pocket knife with a $50 Lansky, no problem. You don't need to spend $300. On a knife sharpener but it does a really good job all right so we're set in here I don't know if you can see but we're set in here uh, right at 25 just a hair under 25 and we'll uh, see what we can do here a little bit of soapy water I'm going to go through the stones. I'll skip ahead. All right, just finished up. I did take my time and try to do a really good job. It is way faster on the bigger machine to uh, go through the stones. The flipping and everything is just so much faster. And I'm going to say, it, it just doesn't come through on camera, but I'm going to say there is more of a polish and the Lansky does leave a little on the table as far as the finish, um, the finishing stones. That, that, that yellow stone with the Lansky is only a 1,000. And this is a, a 5, 7 microns, which I looked it up before and I have a hard time remembering. I think that it is, uh, 
I think it's like 4,000 grit, so quite a bit smoother. Uh, let's see if uh, it makes a difference. So we have the same piece of paper. Yeah, there's... Yeah, it's, um, it's still catching a little bit. It's a little ragged. Uh, we're going to say that the blade quality is to blame for that. But it is a lot smoother. So it definitely translates into cutting. All right, let's grab this same piece of rope. And let's see... I would say not a real difference. Again, the other one was serviceable. So I guess you can do a really good job with the Lansky. Um, I definitely prefer the ease of use with the big machine, but if you've got, I say $50, I believe I paid 50 for this, but I think they're now like 39. Uh, so you may, if you're interested in one, go ahead and check one out. I don't have an affiliate link or anything, so maybe find someone who does and order it with them. Uh, but this is a, this is a good pocket knife. Now I've been leaving this here at my desk or at my workbench here and I've opened the linseed oil cans with it and, uh, cut a couple of things here and there and it's kind of just been abused here, but. We got it in good shape right now. I just don't know what to do with this thing. All right, well, there we go. Conclusive evidence that the Tech Studios profile does a better job.